Problem number 30, an object of mass m is let go from rest. What is the acceleration in terms of g, the acceleration due to gravity, and theta, the angle that the inclined plane makes with the horizontal? Ignore friction. All right, so we see a non-zero mass. We see a non-zero mass. So what do we do? We put the mass in. We put the mass on the inclined plane and look at the forces acting on the mass. As you know, the gravitational force acts vertically down. That means what? We have a. We have the. Let's assume this is x and this is y. So we now have the component of the gravitational force along negative y. And we also have the component of the gravitational force along negative x. All right. The negative x is not as important as you knowing what the components are and the components this is the weight and this is the perpendicular component and this is the parallel component and you have the normal force all right so immediately you can redo this and we can redo this and what do we see so this is a secret for you whenever you see a non-zero mass on an inclined plane put a squiggly line and just say w parallel and then put a squiggly line and say w perpendicular all right and you have the normal force. As you see, net force along the vertical is equal to zero. So what does that give us? Normal force is equal to the perpendicular component of the weight. So what is that unbalanced force? It is W parallel. Net force, and that is equal to MA. So that is the second equation. And this is at the 100 level. Now let's look at the, sec the 200 level. For the 200 level, you see, again, we draw the mass. The, the gravitational force can be replaced by two squiggly lines. W parallel equals mg sine theta. W perpendicular equals mg cos theta. And then we have the normal force. So this is x and this is y. That force along the vertical is equal to zero. That gives us normal force is equal to mg cos theta for this particular situation. And that force along the horizontal is equal to mass times acceleration. So you say mg sine theta equals ma cancel mass cancel mass and what do we get a is equal to a is equal to g sine theta a is equal to g sine theta that means if you know the magnitude of the acceleration due to gravity and if you know the angle then the acceleration is given by g sine theta
that's how much your speed is going to change every second this is george matthew signing off good luck thank you